வணக்கம் ஐ எம் கீதன் அ சைக்கோ தெரபிஸ்ட் அ சீனியர் பிஸ்னஸ் கோச் அண்ட் அ ஹெத்திஸ் இன்ஸ்டிடியூட் நிபானா டுடே ஆஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் பிஸ்னஸ் கோச்சிங் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் வாய் சம் ஆஃப் த நியூ லீடர்ஸ் ஹு டேக் சார்ஜ் ஆஃப் த டீம் ஆர் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் அண்ட் வாய் சம் ஆர் நாட் சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ஐ ஹேட் அன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு ஒர்க் வித் த லீடர் ஹூ ஹேஸ் கிரோன் வித் இன் த ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஹேண்ட்லிங் மல்டிபிள் டீம்ஸ் and now he was going to take charge of a division which was handling more than few thousand crores so i asked him what is his success formula for him to get his team by his side he said i always make a u turn i was curious and i asked him what is this u turn he said i always follow the team first then the team follows me this was interesting and i will share a business coaching situation where i have helped a manager to make that kind of a u turn we had the new manager and his team in a room and we asked the team to list down in the white board what all they would like to retain and sustain the earlier managers initiative and also write what all the team things the new manager has to give attention to once we had a big list the new manager committed to work with the team's direction when the team felt yes my manager is following us the team was able to make a voluntary commitment to follow the leader this is the way to make a u turn This is very different from managers who demand a i turn. What is an i turn? The manager takes over and says from now on the team has to behave like this, the culture has to be different, I am going to assess your performance. All these things are made as a demand in the team and it inhibits the voluntary commitment of the team towards the new leader. So if you want to have a great team make a u turn and not demand a i turn from your team